Good morning cultists! In our previous episode, we finally moved our capital to Bordeaux, which admittedly doesn't really sound like that big of a deal. You know what is a big deal though, is we were able to conquer the Duchy of Aragon by taking advantage of an Umayyad revolt, which of course has not weakened them in the slightest, so I'm just gonna quickly make sure that all my alliances are up to snuff. Can I actually get an alliance with Bavaria? Hmm, who's the current ruler? This guy, who is definitely not a Carling. But I can get a non-aggression pact with him. I can also declare war against him. Oh, I see. To press my son-in-law's strong claim. You know what, that might not be a bad idea. Because if he takes the throne, then Pacifax and Mediogre have a chance to inherit, right? Or at least, get another strong claim. So then if I can get these guys married to Sovix, then not only can they pass down their disgusting Carling blood, but they can also pass down either the kingdom itself, or the uh, claim for it. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. Now they are currently betrothed, which isn't a huge problem. But um, I think it's a little too late for Pacifax, who is just garbage stewardship. So maybe we should just go with Mediogre. Because he hasn't taken the education yet, right? And he ha does have Conscientious. Which should help him out with his stewardship stuff. Alright, you know what? Let's do that. Not right now though, because they still want to honor their... Uh, our alliances with... Um, or our alliance with Ned Flanders here. Okay. Gotcha. In the meantime, I'm going to make sure that you get educated by someone who is a decent steward. Uh, let's go with someone who's diligent and it might as touched. Yeah, I mean, just as good, but I think this guy's a little bit better. Fantastic. And what else do we need to look at? Wait, do we actually have a non-aggression pack with Toulouse? We don't, do we? Because I want to attack this guy eventually. Oh, your daddy-o is daddy-o. I see. Oh, your uncle is in charge now. Ah, okay. Well, I don't really want a non-aggression pact at all, so I'm just gonna break your betrothal. Nothing personnel, kid. That way we, we can free up uh, Pacifax to uh, marry someone else and get better alliances. Alright, so up next is Flanders. We have an alliance with them. And then we have the Byzantines, who are suffering from Byzantine problems. At least two revolts. Good grief. Okay. Um, and you're... Oh, you're the sister of the current basilisk. I see. And your daddy is also daddy -o. Died of poor physique. Good grief. Um, why are you so broke? You know what? I think I understand what happened here. Yeah. It's all starting to make sense now. Alright, so I think this guy got really tired of being made fun of for being weak, right? So he decided to set up a home gym in his palace, and then he bought all the upper body equipment, went broke, decided to neglect his lower body because he not only never heard of leg day, he never even heard of legs in general. Didn't even know that they existed, so he completely neglected his lower body, got super swollen in his upper body, and then, when he was super jacked and very he top heavy, his spindly um, needle legs couldn't hold his uh, body weight up. So he crashed, fell, exploded in a gory mass of blood and semen, and then he died. That's the only explanation. Well, it's a lesson, folks. Work out your uh, legs too, alright? Never skip leg day. I know it's tough, but never skip leg day. All right, um, can I still get a non-aggression pact with you? If we maybe bribe you with all my money? <laughs> um, how about no? Can I get your daughter betrothed to someone then? To maybe my 51-year-old pervert half-brother? That could work, actually. That could work. Interesting. Hmm... Or maybe even Pacifax. I think Pacifax might be a better fit for her. 
Yeah, and then maybe they can inherit something. Ah, that could be interesting. All right, we'll keep that on the back burner as well. Gotcha. We'll just let her deal with the uh, rebellions first, or maybe we should try to help out. Hmm, we kind of have our own issues with the Umayyads, so maybe not. All right, so what else do we have? We have Brabant next, and... Uh, how are you related? Oh, that's your sister? Oh yeah, that's your sister, okay. All right, so let's get that non-aggression pact, and... What else? Lombardy. Well, we already had, we have an alliance with Lombardy, so we should be fine here. Yep. Okay, so we're good. Fantastic. Let me look for some other alliances then. So I'm currently the strongest vassal, followed by Erbio. Um, you have a daughter. I have family members. Maybe we can get something going. Yeah, let's get your four-year-old da daughter betrothed to my 51-year-old uh, pervert half-brother. Fantastic. Uh, I don't want to have anything to do with this guy. Have an alliance with Ned Flanders. This guy's a revolt. Tenacious D of Franconia. Um, that's a little far, so maybe... Maybe we skip this guy. And then there's Paris who is decidedly closer than Franconia. And he does have a lot of children, despite being a gay man. Fantastic. All right, so maybe your daughter? Uh, don't really have a lot of son options. Then maybe your son. Ah, we can get him betrothed to Cuckarella. Fantastic, she's not my daughter. I don't really care what happens with her. She's not really even part of our dynasty because she's the bastard off Offspring of Lombardy and, um, my son's wife, I think? Yes. So let's do it up. Fantastic. And anyone else? I think we're maybe good for now. We should have a decent number of alliances at this point. Yeah. Alright, well, in the meantime, um, I'm thinking maybe we should try to get Sovix educated by someone else who's a little bit better at, um, this kind of stuff. So, let's see. Someone who's a brilliant strategist, and also diligent, would be perfect. Mm, someone within the realm, maybe. Alright, so we have a few people who are willing to come to our court. This guy is quick. Hmm, though he's craven, which could be problematic. And then there's this guy, who's a marshal. Um, so he's most likely not going to come to my court. Wait, Loop Sancho? Really? Oh. I mean, he's not super happy with my succession law change and all that stuff. Wait, can I not? Oh, we can. Ah, that could work out. Though, I kind of want her to be ambitious. So, hmm. And he's also uncouth. Maybe I'll just keep her around for now, but... Good to know that uh, loop is a uh, is an option. Great. Now, what do I do in, with you in the meantime? I can't revoke that. Can't put a claim on that. Can I maybe um plot to revoke it? Oh, I can. Fantastic. So let's get that party started, and everyone can meet up in again or a gen or whatever. And I think that's good for the time being. I'm really hoping that the Umayyads suffer a revolt. Hmm, yeah, their vassal- his vassals are not happy with him at all. Wait, you're the son, aren't you? You are. Or no, you're the grandson, rather. Ah, interesting. Hmm. How do we get this revolt to fire? Because I'd love for that to happen. Otherwise, not gonna lie, I'm a little worried about this. All right, so he's accepted the betrothal. Fantastic. Let's get that alliance made. And he's accepted the non-aggression pact. And I believe we should be able to get this plot firing. Perfect. Three more alliances. War it is, bitch. War it is. So we now have... Wait. Oh, they haven't accepted yet. There we go. And is that everyone? 
Now that's everyone. Perfect. We have five alliances. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And she's trying to kill Sovix. Which is, of course, a big fucking no-no. I can't imprison her right now because she's not technically in my realm. I simply cannot bear the sight of my grandson, Himeno. What, what with his perfect body and happy life. Really? <laughs> After seeing how much he cares about keeping a balanced diet and a healthy body, I start to wonder if I couldn't ruin him with just a few well-placed words. Mmm... Maybe I can tell him to pig out. Yeah, let's say that he's getting too thin. He's already gluttonous, so maybe that can make him uh, worse or something. I can scarcely believe it. The fool Jimeno has fallen for my little eye, and surely enough, has soon started to choke himself with food. I'm looking forward to seeing the results of my little trick. Nice, so we can actually gain intrigue with this. Oh, it worked! Fantastic. Alright, sir. Please, um, why don't you just surrender right now, dude? You might as well. No? What a douche. Unbelievable. Also, Bavaria, don't let anything happen to yourself at the moment. And my grandson has bitten the bucket. Nice. Can I get that claim? Yes, we can. Mostly because she's a child and also a woman. You know what? I'll take it. Fantastic. And I can't quite go to war with her just yet because I have my troops raised. And maybe he's realized that his daughter being betrothed to a 51-year-old pervert is a little too much. All right, well, that's unfortunate. Huh. Why is that? Why'd you do that? Who is that? That's not your daughter, is it? Uh, oh, that's your sister. Oh, no. Oh, wait, so what happened with your daughter then? Is it because she went into hiding? Wait, is that a thing? Oh no, what's happening? Oh shit, we're helping out with the Holy War for Navara. Um, I don't think this war is going to last for very long. Such a wonderful bouquet. The complex blend of flavors and uh, spreads uh, over my tongue just as the warmth spreads in my belly. These monks certainly know how to make a fine wine. I'd love to become temperate, thanks. We did not. Alright, well that's fine. They currently have 10,000 troops. How do you still have so many troops, you asshole? Unbelievable. Um... How do we get this plot to uh, fire? Because I would love... Or, sorry, not plot, but, um... Revolt to fire. It seems like he doesn't have a very strong grasp on his uh, vassals here. Maybe I can send my spy master to build a spy network? Would that work? I rarely ever use this, so I don't know. A blessed has passed. Frederick de Transgerani uh, lived a pious life, truly following the example of God. He passed on the 7th of July, 791, and people have long wondered if he would be considered a true Christian or not. In a grand ceremony, Bishop... Eberolf has declared Frederick the Holy as a Christian who has indeed entered heaven, celebrated by the people of Vaud as well as by the Christian world as a whole. We can only wish to follow his, his example and become truly pious people in the eyes of God. You're telling me that this heretical bastard is somehow considered to be one of the most pious people around right now. Ah, okay, that explains it. <laughs> Fantastic. If you can actually crush the Umayyads in this straight state right now, this could work. This could... Where are you going? No, you imbecile. Where... No, just gather your troops there. You numb nuts, And this guy surrenders. Fantastic. That's great. Uh, let me give away this holding in Barcelona now. Fantastic. And... Should we now press uh, my son-in-law's claim for Bavaria? How old is he, by the way? Because if he's not too old, then maybe I can wait. Uh, a bit of an issue with food poisoning. And his health is 4.5, which isn't great. But it's not the worst thing in the world either. Hmm. How old is Mediogre? He's almost old enough to get the next level of education, so maybe we'll wait until that happens. 
And perhaps in the meantime, we attack the Umayyad? If I do this... Oh shit, he's won his war for Astorius. Oh no. Um... Hmm, this guy doesn't have a war. And I'm assuming my other allies are not currently involved in wars, hopefully? Question mark? He only got 1,000. This guy's got 1.3 thousand. Almost 2,000. Uh, 6,000. Taking some conservative uh, estimates here. So that equates to... I don't know. <laughs> I didn't do the math. I was just saying out numbers. Ah. Uh, it's very tempting. Very tempting. Ah. Uh, um... I don't know if there's a way for me to check if there's like a faction going on. I'm assuming there is, because a lot of his vassals are not happy with him at all. Castle towns have been built. Fantastic. We're going to hold off on building a new one until we can get this new uh, castle built. Great. So I guess we just play the waiting game until Sovix and um, Mediogre are of age. Which, I'm not going to lie, terrifies me. And there's been a succession. And now this guy has 12,000 troops. Oh my god. Thankfully, his vassals absolutely hate him. Great. Sovix, or sorry, Mediogre, let's have you go with Stewardship. And I think we'll break that betrothal now. Yeah, nothing personnel, kid. Can I... wait. It's not quite over yet, though, because I still have my perverted half-brother. Yeah, there we go. And then maybe we can get that, um, get a new alliance forged. Perfect. My Chancellor, Count Garcia, kindly suggests that it would be of benefit of the realm if I study the languages spoken at foreign courts. He also offers himself to aid in my studies. Mm, okay. Sure, I'll owe you a favor, which isn't great, but that's fine. Alright, well then, let's go to war with Bavaria for... Oh, he's got a couple of, um, allies here. Huh. Hopefully, I don't need to bring in my own allies, but, um, we may need to, depending on how all this goes. Fantastic, so he's accepted the alliance. And another blessed has passed. And these guys are properly Catholic. I see, and now he suddenly has fewer troops. Hmm. Well, as long as your vassals still hate you. Oh. Oh no. I think they suddenly have more troops than I do now. Okay, then who do I call in and what just happened? Holy War for Navara. Wait, so we're attacking him. Oh no, it's the Umayyad Holy War for Navara, so it's this place. Uh, I mean, I don't really care if we lose that. Hmm. Okay. Well, then I'm going to call in everyone except for... Lombardy, I think. Huh. Wait, so is everyone willing to join? Yes. I don't want Lombardy to partake because I want Lombardy to actually help out with the uh, war here. So we'll get Paris, we'll get Flanders, and we'll get Brabant. And hopefully that'll uh, work out in our favor. There we go. Fantastic. Alright, folks. Attach yourselves to my chest, as in, get with my troops here. And let's have you guys go to Zurichgau. And we lost our steward. Great. Alright, let's have you go with the martial education. And we need to get a new steward, of course. Galindo. Let's have you go collect taxes in Bordeaux. Hmm. Interesting. Well, as long as he gets more support from our fellow Catholics, we should be fine. But it doesn't seem like the support is very forthcoming at the moment, which is a little worrisome, I'm not gonna lie. Uh... No, what are you doing? What are you doing, you... Idiot! You hang back! Let your troops muster first, and then you go balls deep. 
And my wife is pigging out again. I guess she's decided not to listen to me this time. Yeah, we've lost. Fuck me. The AI is such hot garbage. What? Oh. You've decided to do an amphibious landing. Distractions seem to overwhelm you during your studies. The simplest pleasures and even plain and mundane chores seem like time better spent than drowning in books all evening. How does one manage to keep focused when everything else is so much more appealing? I'd really rather not be stressed, but... Oh, okay, good. That worked out in our favor. And we can attack these guys in Schwaben. Perfect. You know what's not perfect is my uh, liege's performance in this stupid-ass fucking war. What an absolute twat. Look, Lombardy's helping you out. There's no way you can lose this. Just gather all your troops, unless this is Lombardy's troops. It is not. So I don't know where Lombardy's troops are, but just gather all your troops, wait for Lombardy to come in to help, and then go hit them together. Don't have these small stacks, you imbecile. Oh. The AI is so dumb. So very dumb. And of course, now we're being sieged in Bordeaux. Unbelievable. Uh, actually, can you go help me out here? You are Brabant. Brabant, can you maybe go... hunt down these guys? They're right there. Brabant? Brabant? Or you know what? Fuck it. This guy seems to not understand how, um... Sieging works. So, of course, he's just decided to train his troops in cross country um, standing about. Sure, why not? Good grief. Okay. Okay, I get it. You're sieging down my shit. That's great. And we lost our court chaplain. Um, can we have you maybe proselytize instead? Because we're having some issues with uh, heresies in these places. And that is a resounding failure on your part. <sighs> I really wish there was a way for me to, like, volunteer to lead the troops. Like, trust me. You know what? I know what's good for you. Let me lead your troops to victory. And I can help you win this war. Because I guarantee you, if we had waited for Lombardy to come in to help us out and all that sh shit... We could definitely have a uh, push back, like, in a hurry. And we could have won this, like, right quick. But no. We're now at 99% um, war score, and we're most likely just gonna... He's gonna capitulate. I know it. He's just gonna capitulate. Yep, that's gonna be 100%, and that's them. That's them done. Benedict friends all the extremely handsome. Let's have you go marry that girl. Unless you can actually... I'm sorry. Where are you going? Wh the enemy's down there. You have enough troops to tussle with them. You do realize this, yes? Or are you just that dumb? Were you seriously at the back of the line when brains were being handed out? Now look what you've done. Now we've lost Navara. At least that gives us a little bit of time because he now has a truce with us. And his troops are also spent. Maybe this rebellion will finally happen then. Maybe that was actually a good thing. Hmm. Okay, okay. That could actually uh, pan out. Maybe I shouldn't have been uh, yelling at this guy then. Uh, Dear Duke Lope II, I wish to formally invite you to my court for a period of festivities leading up to my coronation. Can I yell from the sidelines about how much of a fucking imbecile you are, and how stupid you are at leading troops, and maybe berate you, like viciously, give you a haranguing by any chance, you know, that'd be awesome. Because otherwise I don't want to tend. Because if I can't do that, then why even bother? King Suni Jizzle kneels before Pope Innocent II in the empty hall of his palace. Despite the humble lo locale and the small crowd, the very presence of the Vicar of Christ himself is enough to give the ceremony meaning and import importance beyond measure. The Pope blesses Sunni Jizzle and places the crown upon his head, proclaiming him king. Long live the king. Fantastic. 
and they are currently attacking these guys in a holy war. With the ceremony finally concluded, King Suni Jizzle bids me uh, farewell and dismiss me from his court, alongside all of his other guests. And this guy wants me to give him council support. You know what? I'll do it because I want you to owe me a favor. And we can slowly build up this um, favor between uh, these guys and all that such. Can't buy his favor. Can't buy his favor. He's already got a favor. And... Okay, gotcha. Alright, then let's quickly end this war. So that um, they don't siege down my capital here. Thank you. 100%. We done did it. Fantastic. Wait. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, then let's get you guys betrothed to... My daughter, Sovix. Fantastic. And of course, it'll be a matrilineal betrothal. Because it doesn't really matter what happens one way or another. Fantastic. And you are being educated by... Oh, no. Um, I'm hoping that doesn't backfire. Knock on wood. Mm, you can attack him if you want. Why is... Okay, we could potentially arrest this guy. Not that I really need to or particularly feel the need I want. Um, but my question is, why is the rebellion not firing at this point? Do you guys just not have a faction or what? What's happening here? Maybe I should... If I antagonize him, I may be able to maybe stir some shit up with his vassals. What if I send a spy master to build a spy network? Uh, vicious rumors spread. Wait, I'm assuming, does he already have vicious rumors? He does not. Let's give it a try. Let's send him to his capital. Hope that it works somehow. But otherwise, I don't really know what to expect with that. And we'll get this uh, new castle built here. Fantastic. Right, right, wait, he's trying to kill someone I don't really know, which is fine, and he's trying to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Gascogne. Eh, yeah, that's fine. Not a big deal. Please have a rebellion. Please? Pretty please? What's happening? Okay, then. Well, hmm, interesting. Press all claims. Maybe I can help you out here. Yeah. Alright, let's get all our troops and we will of course help him out. Hopefully we can uh, crush his troops a little bit and now he's got a fuck ton more troops. You really need to account for his uh, mercenaries here, you dingus. Your determination and hard work has paid off. Studying with Count Garcia, you have uh, learned several new languages to a decent level of fluency. This will surely be increase your prestige at foreign courts. Wait. Oh no, we couldn't have attacked his, um, decla declared a war on him anyways, right? Yeah. Though he's losing a lot of troops all of a sudden. Hmm, interesting. Alright, Kakarella, let's have you go with duty, just because. And Sovix is, uh, developing decently-ish. Knock on wood. Oh no. He's coming in hot. He is coming in heavy. Um, where are your troops? They're up there. Word stood against word. The farmers against the courtiers about damage caused to the farmer's house, house by a cow owned by the courtier. Um, the farmer should be compensated. Their vassal, Count Anso of Tarragona, is arguing with his wife. She seems quite upset and they are almost screaming at each other. They don't even notice that you are watching them like a pervert. Let's intervene. Count Anto Tarragona was upset that I interrupted a private discussion. He wanted me to stay out of their business in the future. Well, fuck you too then, bitch. And this guy's also not happy with my decision. Eat ass. In the least sexual of ways. So he's far south, which is great. Um, because it gives us a little, little bit of time to uh, get all our shit together. I'm sorry, what? You're attacking the Pope? 
Oh, no. All right, we have to uh, agree to this alliance. Ah, oh, shit. All right. Fuck. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What have we gotten ourselves into? Thankfully, it does seem like we have more troops than the Umayyads. No! Go up there! Go fight them while they're weak and fractured! No, that's his mercenaries, you dingus! <laughs> oh, man. All right, what an absolute kerfuffle. Oh, God. <laughs> it's all going to hell in a handbasket so fast! All right, well, hopefully we can pull through, but um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. Scratch that, I'm very nervous. Very, very nervous. And I think we can just safely abandon this uh, ambition. Maybe if we have enough prestige, we can get an ambition to uh, forge a bloodline or something. We'll see. All right, well, let's leave this off here, and we'll come back tomorrow to see the end result of all the uh, insanity that is now happening at the same time. All right, so for now, thanks for watching, and have a good breakfast.